guys, I just arrived over here at AU Aviation in Auburn, California. Took a Southwest flight to Sacramento on an Uber here. Picking up my plane after an extensive annual by Gary Vaught. More importantly, look at that guy. That's new. Power flow, baby. Let's see how she does. We also got an all-in-one LED light. Whalen 500 series. Which makes that guy, the jelly jar, obsolete. So I've had my plane for almost four years now, but I haven't been able to get it here for uh, Gary to take a look at. But I finally did, and the most understated improvement that he's been able to do is clean up the rat's nest of wiring that was here before. So you can see just his work right here where the harness is, everything's just hidden. We got him right here. See the power flow. Just beautifully everything's put back together there is a uh, oil separator right here that was mounted somewhere on this spot and he was able to get rid of it cap it off because it really doesn't do anything and most importantly look at that I have full access to that oil filter now the Challenger oil filter so I'm really excited to see how easy it's going to be for me to get that filter off next time I need to do an oil change. Let's see if it shows up for me. There's a starter. There should be a shroud on it now, which I can't see. I'm going to have to look at the video later. I'm just aiming the camera at it, but um, whoever put this. On did not put baffles around the starter so that takes away cooling air from the engine so that should help as well it's a nice cool 62 degree day right now in Auburn down in Southern California it's like 95 degrees a little bit higher humidity than normal so I'm not really going to be able to see any temperature gains for the or improvements for the power flow that everybody talks about taking off here. But I'm hoping if I'm not too fatigued after my two and a half hour flight, um, I can maybe do some touch and goes and see how I can run the engine and uh, see if I can see any improvements. Especially the climb improvements is what I'm looking for. Static RPM, takeoff, all that good stuff. Four to six weeks later. I'm above beautiful Death Valley. About 80 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And I'm noticing that the power flow has equalized my cylinder temps within about 18 to 20 degrees of each other. Absolutely amazing. I think before the power flow was installed, there was about a 50 degree difference between my number one and two cylinder versus the number three cylinder. Biggest difference with the power flow is this equalization, this equalization that happens. Three days later. After exploring Virginia City, Carson City, a hot wing festival, a few other things, it was time to head home on this noticeably sticky morning. Um, 4,400 feet, I can tell the airplane was a little bit more sluggish, even after we leaned it out during the run-up. Um, it was still slow to go, but it was still moving pretty well. I could tell the engine was breathing easier. Um, we still took off at 2,500 feet. Um, 
after I got 110 knots, I began uh, climbing and we immediately started looking at the engine monitor. So we're climbing 10,500 feet. Um, everything was in the green. Uh, I think our hottest cylinder was about 350 um, degrees Fahrenheit, and that was at about 110 knots, 700 feet per uh, minute. And um, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to do more than 400 to keep my number three cylinder at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is with the Electronics International. So it's, they show a little bit lower temperature than what they really are. Um, so we're just climbing and climbing for 10,500 feet. And I'll be dang, uh, 700 feet at 110 knots. No problem. We were in the green the entire time. And I think that is 100% um, thanks to the power flow system. Because uh, 100, 100 knots and getting hot, getting hot, getting hot um is typical uh not anymore so am i an advocate of the powerful system i think after this experience i am